Fisher for Survival Dispatch Insider. And today, I'm going to talk about the basics of getting into ham radio. Because a question I get often is, uh, how, do I, how do I start? Where do I start? What do I do? How do I find a test? So we're going to talk to that this morning. Again, I've got uh, one of the mind maps here, um, used for a lot of different stuff. So let's look at this. All right, so there are three classes of licenses currently out there. Uh, there are a couple that are still around from as changes have been made over the years, uh, but these are the three that you can currently get. Technician is your entry level uh, license, for want of a better term. A general is your introduction into most of the, it gives you access to most of the HF frequencies. And we'll, we'll put a band uh, chart up so you can see that. And it gets you a lot of access to, I'll say probably 80% or more of, of the HF bands, which is where you want to be post-disaster because that's your long range communications. The other one is amateur extra, uh, mostly called extra. We kind of shortcut it. Uh, and that is your highest level uh, ham radio exam. That requires um, quite a bit of technical understanding of principles of radio, antenna, et cetera. It gets a little hard when you get up to that one. In between general and extra is a license called advanced. And that one's been around for quite a few years. And when the FCC changed the licensing structure, they left that as an existing exam. So there are people out there with an advanced license uh, and they can upgrade if they want to, to extra. Um, but it's still a valid license. The other one you may see out there from time to time is novice, but I think because of the number of years that that one's not been around, you're not going to see anybody with a novice license anymore, but it used to be out there. Uh, with the exams, uh, they change them every four years. So there is a group called the National Volunteer, National Volunteer Emergency Coordinator uh, group that is a representation of the 14 different volunteer exam coordinator organizations and they redo the question pool every four years. Usually not significant changes, one or two questions that they didn't like over the years, uh, maybe some grammar changes. And so the, when you're buying a book, if you get a book or you're looking at a resource, make sure it's for the current year. So as you can see here, um, technician, there are 35 questions uh, and the current exam question pool is up to uh, 2022. The general is 35 questions. Uh, that expires June of this year, 2019. So July 1st is the new question pool. There's not been a lot of changes. So if you're currently studying for your general, don't panic. Most of the material's the same. You don't have to go out and buy a new book. I would suggest going to one of the practice exam ones and selecting um, for the, the next year's exam or Go get your license before the end of June. All right, no big deal. Amateur, amateur Extra, uh, there's 50 questions in that, and that one's good uh, till next year. So they're in the process right now of working through a new question pool. All right, we've talked about radios in some other videos, so I'm not going to get into that very much. Other than to, stay, to stay, say, most people's first radio tends to be a handheld radio, and, and nowadays these the Baofangs or similar variants are readily available, uh, cheap. Some people that have been hams for some time will kind of naysay them. However, it's a good way to start getting on the air and deciding what you like, what you don't like, and what more expensive radio you might want to buy when you know what other stuff is around your area, such as digital stuff. And we'll talk about more about one of these later, but this is a digital radio and there can lots of different ones out there. Uh, it's just one of them. So that's how you can start with your material. And we've done a video on uh, getting on the air the first time. So you know, you'll want to watch that one. Study material. There's some free stuff out there. These are the two are my kind of go-to that I tell people. Um, there's a guy, Ham, call, uh, call sign KB6NU. He does what's called a no-nonsense study guide. Think of it as a cliff notes. The technician one is free. You can just Google it. Um, you'll find his website. Um, it's free. Uh, it's great. And um, if you, you want it as a printed form, uh, you can go on uh, Amazon and we'll, we'll post the link. Um, and you can buy it there in a printed form. There are a number of other books um, that are available. And I kind of categorize them into three categories. Um, 
most common one that people look at is the ARRL book. That one gives you a chapter and then um, on the material. Uh, it has the question pool in the back that you can then go look at. Uh, the other one that's common is by Gordon West, um, commonly known as Gordo. He has been doing ham longer than probably as close as, you know, the guy that, you know, Samuel Morse that invented Morse code. Um, but his book set up is, here's the question, and here's the right answer, and this is why it's the right answer. Uh, so that's a different way of studying. Again, you've got to find what works for you. And there's other books that say, this is the question, this is the right answer. You can go download a copy of the question pool, because it's freely available, and do that yourself with a highlighter and just focus on what is the right answer to that question. Different ways that people study. If you want video, there's a guy by the name of David Kassler who's got some excellent videos for all of the different licensed classes on his YouTube channel. Um, so if you're a video person, you want to see it in, in video, that's the place to go. Uh, the other one is apps. And the, one of the best ones and the ones that I refer people to is hamstudy.org. Uh, they, do, they will bring you up the questions as a flashcard, so you can study, but they will also generate question pool, um, a question exam for you from the question pool uh, in the right configuration that the exam that you will see. And they have an app. Um, they have a free app. It obviously has ads in it, um, or you can buy it and it doesn't have ads in it. And, or you can use it on, a, on the internet, on a um, computer. And uh, that works really well there as well. Um, and they support a uh, testing version that we use, my team uses, to, to computer grade exams. So they have an, a back end of that, um, et cetera. So that's really cool. I, I support them greatly because they've done a lot of work to help us. Um, so finding exams, that's the other question. Where do I find an exam? So Laurel VEC, there are 14 VEC groups, volunteer exam coordinator groups that, that administer the exams and then send that information to the FCC. Um, Laurel is the one that my team uh, uses and all their exams are free. And so if you come in and you take an exam, you miss it by a couple, you wanna retake it, as long as it, it, you haven't missed it by too many, we'll let you retake that uh, for free. If you wanna take the next one, not a problem. And we just had a test this past weekend uh, that my team did. We had uh, 24, 25 people and 14 or 17, I think, new exams, uh, new technicians. Um, and two people, I think, got both tech and general. And we commonly see that. My team sees anywhere around 30 people a month coming in to take a test. And usually we got a couple of people that take both tech and general at the same time. Not a problem. Other places that list exams, uh, Ham Study. Again, that the study site also has a site page there where it says find exams. So if a team's listed their exam there, um, that's the other one. ARRL, uh, and if you just search ARRL Ham Radio Exam or Ham Radio Exam, you'll find their site. Uh, and that's for teams that are listed their exams there. Um, and any group can list. It doesn't, you don't have to be an ARRL. Um, test team to list there. They'll list anybody's. And the other one is W5YI. So Laurel, um, ARRL, and W5YI are the three largest uh, VEC groups. If you're interested in getting your commercial uh, radio license, it's, uh, it's called GROL, General Radio Operators License. W5YI is the group that does the commercial licensing um, if you want to get into radios as a, as a profession. So that's where you kind of start. Um, once you get that license, you want to you know, look at our get on the air video. You might want to look at our video on uh, different radios that we've done. And um, you know, get out there, get on the air, listen, get yourself a radio. We're going to do a video on how to improve your radio. We've done articles on that in Survival Dispatch Insider. Uh, you know, how do you get something better than the stock antenna that my signal can get out? How do I get out of my house to the repeater that's you know, maybe too far that I can't transmit through the wall with this. So we're gonna do videos on that, and we've done some. And uh, so check out our page. Uh, if you like the video, hit like below, and go to Survival Dispatch Insider. We've got lots of articles on communications, uh, especially last February's issue uh, and February of uh, 18, all on communication stuff. And 
uh, if you join, you get access to all the back issues. So lots of information, not only on communications, but developing your communications plan um, for your group, etc. So with that, have a good day. We'll catch you on the next one. <music>